Hello everyone! I had a few people who asked me if I could make a list of my favorite Disney afternoon shows from first to worst. So let's do it! Okay, so this is called a Tear Maker, which I just learned about about five minutes ago. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be listing off our favorite Disney afternoon shows on here. Now some of the important things to point out are these ones at the bottom here, the last four, those were actually never part of the Disney afternoon. So we're not going to be including those in our list today. So our best one is going to be up here, top left, and then our worst one's going to be somewhere down here. So we got 12 shows to be going through. Uh, so let's start off kind of in the middle here with, let's say, Goof Troop. Now Goof Troop originally made its debut in the third season from 1992 until 1993. Uh, Goof Troop is probably not my, you know what, we're gonna put it up here. It's not my favorite of the shows, but it's a pretty good show. Uh, obviously it did launch things like a goofy movie, an extremely goofy movie. It's the first time that we ever saw a character actually age, which was Max before that. Disney characters just kind of stayed the same age for their whole lives. It's a good show. If you've never seen it, it's about Max and Goofy moving to Spoonerville to be near Goofy's old pal, or in Goofy's mind, his old pal, Pete, and Pete's family, where, of course, he's got PJ, who becomes Max's best friend, and they go on several different crazy things together, but overall, it's mainly set in the town of Spoonerville, which does not make it too exciting. Okay, right, let's go on to our next one. Let's go over to bonk Bonkers here. I was going to say Bonkers. Bonkers. Uh, bonkers debuted in the fourth season from 1993 to 1994. And it didn't last too long. I think it only went on for like one or two seasons. Uh, bonkers is not the greatest of the Disney afternoon shows. I mean, it's it, it's about Bonkers who's a cop in Toonville, or like a Toontown setting. And he kind of goes through, and the, the best part about it is you get to see several other Disney characters in a different environment. So it kind of goes with the whole idea of cartoons live outside of the Toon world, which makes it a little bit more exciting, but it's not the greatest series. Uh, let's go down here to the Quack Pack. Now the Quack Pack was our second time where we saw different Disney characters age in addition to Max. Uh, Quack Pack... Again, it's not the greatest show. It's one of those shows that I don't really go through and watch over and over and over again. It's got Donald Duck instead of Scrooge McDuck. It's got Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and Daisy makes appearances in this one. But it's just kind of forgettable in my mind. Uh, what's not forgettable, though, is Aladdin. Aladdin we're going to put kind of in this third tier here. Now, Aladdin, in my mind, is probably one of the better Disney afternoon shows that they did. Well, maybe not, but obviously in the middle. It was the continuation of the adventures of Aladdin, Jasmine, Abu, the Sultan, Genie, etc., etc., etc. It kind of took off in a different direction, where we still had that Arabian Night theme, but at the same time, it was more adventurous. It was it was focusing on those parts of the film that we all know and love, and not just focusing on the romantic part, but kind of the thrill-seeking part, especially with Genie kind of being the main center. That debuted in the fifth season from 1994 to 1995. All right, let's throw up one of the good ones. Uh, <laughs> sometimes some crimes go slipping through the cracks of these two. Chippendale Rescue Rangers is the epitome of amazing television programming. Now, Chippendale Rescue Rangers along with DuckTales were the two things that really launched the idea of the Disney afternoon. Prior to this, Disney had never really used their characters in a more modern setting, but using characters like Chippendale that everyone knew and loved, and also introducing new characters like Monterey Jack and Zipper and Gadget made this a huge hit along with an amazing theme song. It is hands down one of the best shows that the Disney afternoon did. Uh, now let's probably put down the worst show, <laughs> The Mighty Ducks, the animated series. Now, I want to start off by saying I love the Mighty Ducks films. The Mighty Ducks films are some of my favorite films that Disney's ever done. I love them as a kid. And then when they announced that they're going to be doing this animated series, I was extremely excited and then extremely disappointed. This focus is on the actual stories of real ducks that are hockey players 
and I don't really remember much else besides that. I just remember I was never that taken by it. It just was not that good of a series. So let's move on to Timon and Pumbaa. Uh, Timon and Pumbaa is going to be after Bonkers. Again, it wasn't the greatest series. There are some parts of it that I remember, but most of what I remember was not the greatest ever. So we're going to place that down here. It's probably my second to least favorite show in the entire uh, Disney Channel lineup. All right, let's continue going from the end. Again, these four right here, we're not going to count those because they were technically never part of the Disney Afternoon lineup. Uh, so let's start with Gargoyles. Gargoyles actually goes above Aladdin. Uh, Gargoyles is probably the darkest, I shouldn't say probably, it is the darkest of all of these series. However, having an idea of taking a castle from medieval times and placing it into New York and having it so all the gargoyles are named after different streets or different landmarks around New York, genius. I don't know why it's genius, but it's genius. It was a very dark setting, but at the same time, it was a lot of fun to see the gargoyles go through this whole idea of being alive during the night and going on adventures at night around New York City, especially when they were used to modern, or not, not modern, used to medieval times. Let's go to Darkwing, Dar Darkwing Duck. Now, Darkwing Duck is a continuation of DuckTales. We have Launchpad McQuack, who appeared in both Darkwing Duck and DuckTales. He's kind of the glue that holds the two series together. Darkwing Duck is pretty much the Disney afternoon version of Batman. It was a ridiculous show. It was a spoof show. It was a hilarious show, though. Some of the villains that Darkwing Duck um, interacts with are great villains. They're amazing to watch. They're so much fun to watch. And it, it's one of those shows that every time I go back and watch it, I'm always like, oh, you know, I like Darkwing Duck, but it's probably not my favorite series. But then I watch it again, and I'm like, this is such a great series. Uh, this was the first addition to the Disney Afternoon, replacing Gummy Bears, the Adventures of the Gummy Bears. The first, uh, it was in the first season. It was also the first show that was created in this lineup. So let's do the Adventures of the Gummy Bears. Uh, the Adventures of the Gummy Bears, uh, you know what, we're going to put it down here. But we're going to put it in front of Goof Troop. Adventures of the Gummy Bears has one of the best theme songs of all time. Two, kind of going with that whole Gargoyles theme of being a medieval setting. This entire series takes place in a medieval series. But overall, it's a great series with some great characters. And it's worth watching. If you've never watched it, it is worth watching. If nothing else, just to listen to the theme song. Because it's one of the greatest theme songs of all time. Okay, we've got two left. We've got Tailspin and DuckTales. Let's take Tailspin. We're going to place that right in front of Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Again, taking characters that we already know and love in the Disney film franchise and having Baloo now be a pilot and Shere Khan be a businessman and King Louie be a bartender. Oh my gosh, everything about this show was perfect. Absolutely perfect. There was nothing wrong with it. So everything about DuckTales or not tail, duck tales, about Tailspin was perfect. Like It is one of the most perfect shows that's ever been created. Having pirates that fly in planes with, with Don Carnage being the leader. And it, it, who can forget? Well, I'm sure a lot of people forget. But <laughs> one of my favorite parts about, about Tailspin is Don Carnage who goes, Hello, this is Don Carnage. You are hearing me and this is my voice. Like, I mean, just simple humor, great humor, great action, Kid Cloud Kicker was like, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, he's such a cool character. Like, he's, he's you know, surfing or skiing in the clouds. Like, that's the coolest thing in the world. Tailspin, hands down, one of the greatest TV shows that's ever been created. However, it's not as good as DuckTales. Now, if you guys know me at all, what, what are you doing? Get over there. Uh, if you guys know me at all, DuckTales and Scrooge McDuck is my favorite Disney character that has ever been created. DuckTales obviously focuses around the, not obviously, but it focuses around the stories created by Carl Barks, where we have it so Scrooge McDuck, along with his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, go on crazy adventures all around the world. If it was not for DuckTales, I think there would be a lot of people who are my age who probably would not be bit by the travel bug. This is one of those series that truly it made me want to see the world. It made me want to go find adventure. It made me want to go and do treasure hunting. And it wanted me to it made me want to be the richest duck in the world. It was just the coolest series back then and it still is the coolest series 
for me today. I just, every character is perfect. Every single scenario that they go through is perfect. All of the episodes are amazing, whether they're in Duckburg, whether they're off on a treasure hunt, whether they're traveling into the past with Bubba Duck. I mean, everything about this series is perfect. So that's my list. Uh, DuckTales, Tailspin, Chippendale, Rescue Rangers, Gummy Bears, Goof Troop, Darkwing Duck, Gargoyles, Aladdin, Quack Pack, Bonkers, Timon and Pumbaa, followed by Mighty Ducks at the end there. So let me know in the comments if you agree with my list, and if you don't agree with my list, that's perfectly okay, but let me know what you would put your order of the Disney Afternoon shows in. As always, if you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to us right here on this channel, and until next time, we'll see you guys all a little later. Bye-bye.